Good afternoon, we are most delighted to reach you with the broadcast of Thursday 9th of December 2021. The top story is Dr. Gloria Adet getting fired with FIDE Champions Award. I'm taking FT Governor Rodomi Manuel, Wemedimo Udo, Top Fertz University, Bride of Sienodim, Council Chairman, Kwaibom Governor's Aid Apps on Financial Inclusion for Women. The name is Joshua Akpan. The news and details. As part of activities marking the 2021 week of the International Federation of Women Layers, the Harm Commissioner for Agriculture, Dr. Gloria Dato, who is also the Dean of Commissioners and Special Advisors, has been conferred with an Excellence Award tagged FIDE Champion, which, according to the organizers, was in recognition of our invaluable contributions to the FIDE and the protection of the rights of women and children. The award was presented to her by the Rakwaibom State Chapter of FIDA this is the 17th, 7th December 2021 at the Judicial Multi-Purpose Hall, Wellington Basi Way, during its dinner and award night. The wife of the Rakwaibom State Governor, Her Excellency Mrs. Mata Udomi Manuo, was a special guest of honor, thanked the immediate past executive of FIDA for doing well in the tenor and charged the new executive to put more effort. She also commended the Wadis for championing the activities of FIDA. Speaking shortly after receiving that award, Dr. Ed Hirojais, the organizers of finding Wadi to be honored amongst a selected few and described their award as special. She praised the leadership of FIDA for their commitment, passion, and dedication, noting that their efforts have resulted in a drastic reduction of reports of cases of gender-based violence in the state, Akwa Abasibo State. The agriculture buzz, while noting that the award is a moral booster for her to go and do more for the group, also tags the newly elected state executive of FIDA to be proactive in the discharge of their duties and pray for the grace and wisdom of God upon them. Next, the chairman of your local government area, Dr. Uwemadi Udo, has stated that he is taking up the good staves of his boss, Governor Udum Emmanuel, in delivering the dividends of democracy to the people of the states. He said this on Tuesday, November 8, 2021, while the handing over a 500 kV air power substation to Ikorebido Oku community and a meaning water scheme to the Uyo local government shopping complex at Ikorodoro Oku in Uyo as part of event to mark its one year anniversary in the council. According to the chairman, the purpose of the Amenities are provided was to add value to the lives of people at the grassroots and make them feel the impact of government in no little way. He noted that the projects such as lights, water infrastructure, free medical care, and other social amenities have been provided by his administration within and after his first 100 days in office, citing the construction of the council's administration block, administrative block, back your pardon, and others as examples. His association was supported by different personalities present at the occasion, who thanked the chairman immensely for his achievement within his first 100 days to one year in office. Next, the chairman of the Dim Local Government Council, Mr. Anthony Luke, has commended the chairman Governing Council of Topford University, Dr. Emmanuel Abraham, for his investment in human capital development and infrastructure, describing the citadel of learning as the pride of a Sienodim local government area. The council chairman stated this during a facility tour of Topford University Tuesday, 7 December 2021. The council board also allowed the proprietor of the university for projecting the name of a Sienodim in international community and for making the people proud. The Mr. Luke, who conducted tour around facilities in the school, was impressed with the world-class infrastructures, equipment, and modern learning aids built in place for academic activities. In his remarks, the Chairman Board of Trustees of Top Third University, Dr. Emmanuel Abraham, who expressed gratitude for a visit, said the Chairman has demonstrated his passion and love for education and human capacity development. He noted that the school is operating under three-dimensional philosophy, which include to drive students to self-discovery, develop their talents, and also help them 
to deploy the talent in useful ventures for themselves and the society in general. He maintains that graduates from top French university must be holy, highly creative, innovative, and employable, adding that his mission is to impact wisdom on every graduate on the institution. The special assistant to Gatnaru de Mimarwal and entrepreneurial development, Mrs. Mefline Awana has posited that there is a need for women involvement and participation in policy development and economy reforms, as well as the need to get equipped to take advantage of equal opportunities in the political, social, economic, cultural, and financial framework of Nigeria polity. She divulged this during the official unveiling and launching of the Unity Bank's Yanga accounts. A quiet bomb stage on Tuesday, 7 December 2021, held at Helema. Event Center, Mutual Alliance Estates, Aka, Itiam Uyo, a cross section of participants expressed delight with the new concept, ideology, and foresight of the prestigious Unity Bank in introducing and subsequently launching the Yanga account, which is said to engage no fewer than 5 million micro, small, medium, and enterprises, ASM, MSM. Ease. Mrs. Nwana stated that empowering women officially to drive solutions and better opportunities will not only contribute to the economic growth of the country, but will also serve as an entrepreneurial support system for women as Catholics in nation building. She lights it that the pivotal role played by the wife of Gatna of a Kwaibum State, Her Excellency Dr. Mata Udomi Manuel, in supporting and promoting the cause of women by continuing ensuring women access the 30 percent inclusion of women in political participation the results as she noted bounds in variant programs conducted by ferret for women and girl child in a quiet state not leaving out the number of women who are currently holding sway in sensitive political offices with impactful imprint that will stand the test of time mrs Wana commended Unity Bank for a consistent short of competence in investment to corporate and retail banking as one of Nigeria's leading retail banks and for the younger product offering to women entrepreneurs. Recall Unity Bank officially launched the Yang account in Abuja recently where the veteran Nollywood actress Mrs. Sola Sobowal was unveiled to the target market as a brand ambassador to specifically promote women MSMEs and create a unique po position for Yang account and the brand in the market. Remember? We told you that the Kwaibom State Governor, His Excellency Mr. Rudomi Mano, was a special guest at the traditional marriage ceremony of former Ms. Esidime, the daughter of Italian Solomon. It took President General of Kwaibom State's Traditional Rulers Council, held at Government Primary School Grounds in Ikotsu Okubo, in Sirubum, local government area. That the news at four. Thanks for joining us on before we round up this first top stories uh, who made the headlines. Dr. Glory Ede conferred with FIDE Champions Award. I'm taking up to Governor Udemi Manuel, Wemedi Mo Udo, Top 30 University Pride of Tianudim, Council Chairman, Kwaibum Governor's Aid, helps on financial inclusion for women. For more updates, do well visit our webpage at www.ibomvoice.business.blog. Our YouTube channel at Ibom Voice TV, and as well as our Facebook group at Ibom Voice Media. The name again remains Joshua Akman. A million thanks for watching.